Hello, and welcome to Construction Programs and Results Incorporated newsletter. I'm Michael Stone. We took a few weeks to relax and enjoy the family and hope you did the same. Grandkids are better than any Christmas present ever. If you've had enough of being at home, plan to join us in April on our next cruise. We're still hopeful it will happen. We have had some of the best contractors in the nation that have committed to joining us on that adventure. Please join us. You can find info on the cruise at markupandprofit.com slash cruise. A reminder that if you're interested in the audiobook versions of our books, you can listen to a sample of both Markup and Profit Revisited and Profitable Sales a Contractor's Guide at markupandprofit.com slash audiobooks. Still coaching, by golly. You betcha. In December, we held our last live class. It's available online. That doesn't mean I'm retiring. I'm still available for coaching or focus consultations. If you're dealing with a challenge or need overall direction in your business, please don't hesitate to call. We have a success ratio of well over 90% with contractors who have called us for help over the last 22 years. <clears throat> now, our newsletter. The beginning of a new year is a great time to review your business practices. Are your habits helping your company grow or are they holding you back? Our 10 cardinal rules are about developing business habits that make you a better business person. Cardinal rule number one, return all phone calls the same day or by 9 a.m. the next day. Not returning phone calls is a bad habit. Over and over I've heard, I don't have time to return my calls, I'm too busy. You aren't too busy. It only takes a few minutes to return each call, and you never know who or why they're calling until you make that return call. A customer's first contact with you will often be by phone. You want to treat them with courtesy, answer their questions, and meet their needs when they call. In 2021, make it a top priority that you and everyone in your company will return all calls the same day or by 9 a.m. the next day. Cardinal rule number two, keep all appointments and on time. When you set an appointment time, you've made a promise. When you're late or don't show up, you've broken that promise. If on the way to the appointment, you realize you're going to be late, even if it's only a minute or two, get on the phone and call them. Let them know you're on the way and when you will arrive. Cardinal number three, be professional. If you want to be paid like a professional, then dress and behave like a professional. There are more than enough flaky contractors in the world, and frankly, that's what many homeowners expect to deal with. Surprise them. Be different. That includes your speech. Foul language isn't professional. It's foul. Cardinal rule number four, keep your ego in your pocket. Find out what your clients want, then help them get it. You don't need to impress them with your incredible knowledge. You need to show them you're listening. They care about their job, not you. Cardinal rule number five, make sure they're qualified to buy from you. You don't want every client you meet. <clears throat> Some of them have unrealistic expectations, won't answer your questions, or are looking for the cheapest price. Follow the, the guidelines in Profitable Sales, a contractor's guide to ferret out the problem clients and sell to those who are qualified. <clears throat> Cardinal rule number six. When estimating, get written quotes for any items over $300. Don't guess at what a sub or specialty contractor will charge. Get a written quote. Run your labor estimates past the person who will build a job to make sure the time is reasonable. Accurate estimating is critical to your profitability and after all the effort you've put into selling and building the project, you want it to be profitable. Cardinal rule number seven. Calculate your correct markup and use it every time. The correct sales price for, your, for every job is the price that allows you to pay all your job costs, 
its share of the overhead expenses and provide a reasonable profit. You'll find the correct sales price if you calculate your markup that is based on your overhead and profit needs. Then apply that markup to an estimated cost that is as accurate as possible. <clears throat> If you don't calculate your markup and use it, you're guessing at the sales price. And the wrong guess or guesses can take you right out of this business. Conor rule number eight, stay on budget. During your planning for 2021, you set an overhead budget for your business. The next step is to follow it. Don't buy toys or tools unless it's in the budget. If an emergency occurs, follow the procedure in Chapter 5 of the Markup and Profit Revisited book and adjust accordingly. Every increase in your budget will require either more sales than originally projected or a higher markup on future sales. The alternative is a lower profit. Carter Rule number 9, continue your education on a daily basis. Spend an hour every day to learn more about business. Even 30 minutes will help. Watch our videos. Read books. You'll learn new things and everyone needs continual reminders of what they already know but easily forget. And cardinal rule number 10, take a fixed salary from your business every month. Your salary needs to be included in overhead when you calculate your markup. When you sell your jobs at the right price, using your markup, you'll have the funds available to pay yourself a fixed salary every month and enable you to take care of your family. Following these cardinal rules makes it easier to pay that salary. You'll be different than the rest of the pack. You'll look so good to potential clients that they'll be more than willing to pay a fair price for your work. The price that pays for all jobs covers all your overhead which includes your salary and allows you to set aside a reasonable profit. Running a successful construction business happens when you do the little things consistently. Good habits deliver great results. Thanks again for watching and may the profits be with you.